Um, there's a slow spinning fan shadow. The fan shadow is unnerving. Having you nervously check in the periphery of your vision for the movement you swear you saw. Slow spinning fan. The air in the tunnel alternates between stale and putrid with decay. This is a good setting for a horror movie indeed. Uh, the sentry gun computer control. This terminal is connected to the turret nearby. A stack of empty Juca Cola cans sits below. Sentry gun base. The turret is poised to spring into the room above and eliminate any unauthorized personnel. There's a pistol. A faint smell of gunpowder lingers around the emptied weapon. Uh, these are two dead ends. A sickened odor of death and rot wefts into the room, making your you gag from his nauseating scent. Ugh. Uh, okay, let's pick up the pistol. <coughs> Ugh. Wading through the blood over here. Tigering. So now we got an empty pistol. And now let's check the sentry gun. So we still need to find bullets somewhere. Cane anti-personnel systems, remote sentry weapon power status. No, low ammunition and P is still fine. Maintenance overdue by 295 days. Replace cable sleeving 18R. Uh, wait, can we do anything with it? I guess we can, so I should replace a cable? Is that it? Okay, so that's about it for this region. Can I go back? I think we can. Okay, now what do I do? The other gun is gone. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, oh wait, maybe we should, yeah. Mm. I think we should do it over here, huh? Maybe this will work? Doesn't work like that. No. <laughs> Maybe the cola will work. A little faster, John, come on. Is he hurt or something? No control wreck. Death line not active. Okay. Uh, can we use this thing now? No, that won't work. Okay. It doesn't work like that. So what did the cola exactly do? Data line not active. Place cable sleeving. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Everything breaks with John. And there's another sentry gun. Wait, what? The inactive gun sleeps silently. Well, I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Let's try to head back again. <laughs> I 
Nope, nothing changed. Mm, I don't think that'll work. Then what will? I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> right. Okay, so I don't think that I can do anything here, so it must be down here. So let's try to go back again. Um, let's just try some stuff. Hmm. Maybe. No. If I click on this thing, as soon as I click on anything, it goes back. So, is something clickable here? B, no, let's do this. No, it doesn't do anything. So, what am I to do here? Come on. Says replaced cable sleeving. So there should be cables over there. Hmm. Nope. Tried that for five times already. Okay, I'll need to figure this out. Alright, I finally figured out. Uh, I had to look it up. And the solution is quite shitty. I mean, how are you supposed to know this? Uh, so, we need to get back up. And they should fix the icons because this icon says, like, you can't check it out. You just can't see it. Um, so you don't think, let's check out the door, the sentry gun isn't usable yet. What you need to do is you need to check out the door. I hate doors. One override, coming up. Shit, John. The security systems in medical are inaccessible. It's like they've been locally reset. I can't access anything. I'll think of something. And after that, you suddenly can control the disconnected sentry gun. How am I supposed to know that? That's just a little stupid game design. Uh, the gun is most likely for general security, though the desperate measures have been instituted to control Yuka Cola addicts in certain situations. So now he can wield it. Hey, voila, now we can get through. <laughs> Alright. Wow. He needs to take a breather. And now we can go to the next room. Warning. This area is off limits to all active PDT users. 
Please see your supervisor for further instructions. That makes no sense. All PDT. That's everyone. They must have changed security settings. Stop anyone from heading down below. Or coming up. Still not sure what a PDT is. Maybe I missed something. A destroyed sentry gun. You try to tell yourself that you're safe for now. The stenciling on this door indicates that it leads to reception. More blood everywhere. There's an elevator. You should be. You would be happy to never see another tubular conveyance in your life. Blood, of course. The incandescence of the lightning strikes illuminates a grisly series of bloody splatters across the windows. There is a PDA. In a portal, the atmosphere of Neptune is consuming this vessel as lightning shows the way. Another PDA, blood and tissue. The oozing red goop contains flecks of bone and masses of tissue. Ugh. Blood stains, more disturbing evidence of slaughter. And another door over here. Anything else? Seating, rows of seats, all unoccupied. And nothing much in the elevator, so let's check out the PDAs. Erica Boxer. That utter jerk, I cannot believe that asshole. What kind of a man dumps a girl on their anniversary? Poor Danica's in hysterics. I had to swap swap my shifts on account of that prick. Sadie made that easy enough. She's such a good friend to me. We were inseparable at nursing school until she decided to branch out into botany. Seems that she's suited more to general medical research than patient care. That's fine, I don't mind. I prefer working with people to plants anyway. The new walkway in hydroponics is a bonus too. Some of our boys like to stretch their new limbs among the greenery. Who said that the new departments were of no use? This is selfish, I know, but damn it. I've had so much on my plate. I'm having to do a serious overtime and then ungrateful turds like Eric mean I've got even more to deal with. My poor baby sister. Body of a 30-year-old woman, mind of a 16-year-old girl. Apparently, he says being the pilot of the Ozymandias is just too much pressure on a relationship. As is that sweet little co-pilot he recently acquired. Well, the night should be okay, as I've got Danica coming around with some of the girls, and a shipment of Martian champagne. Oh, come on, these are long updates. July 10, the budget increase is proving to be a blessing and a curse. We've got more equipment for sure, but nowhere near enough space for it. If only the Groom Lake was one of those modular types, we might be able to get some extra room. Sadie and I are working our butts off around here. God bless Sadie. If it wasn't for her, I'd probably be an alcoholic by now. Danica is still not over her douchebag ex and calls me up crying most nights just to talk about how she misses him. Next time I see him, I'm going to punch his lights out. I worry about Danica. She is depressed. Not eating, not sleeping. I might ask Angracia to book her in for an appointment. She needs a shrink. Work-wise, the regeneration tanks are working beautifully. But the increased demand for them means we're running short of chemical disso dissociation reagents and the cell growth regeneration fluid is pretty much spent. Speaking of the fluid, it's this new stuff Dr. Milan's unit has had us using. It's technically the same as the last stuff, but I'm sure the molecular composition is different. Apparently it's four, four, four times as effective. It seems kinda unpredictable actually. I've already asked Dr. Harvey to request that we switch back to the old one, which he has done twice. Why are they ignoring us? Then September 18, crazy huge brawl in the mess hall today, all of the guys sweating and looking like they OD'd or something. There's been a spike in violent assaults. I swear it has something to do with the new supplies that came in. Ever since that new region fluid, it seems like everything else is slightly off too. I'm sure of it. Diet medicines, genetic samples, you name it. I spoke to Sadie and she also swears there's been tampering. The idea that we've been ingesting bad food for months scares the shit out of me. I'm going to get a friend of mine to analyze some samples. Until then, I'm locking my door at night. I'm not sure who I can trust. Sadie's been giving me strange looks too. 
I might actually change the lock. And uh, December 19. I don't care anymore. I just don't care. I have to see Danica. I have to. She's with two others near the hangars, and I'm stuck here in medical. Two rifles taken from Malone and Bird, and the laser scalpel. That's all we have to get there. Sadie keeps fighting me on this and making excuses. She's starting to piss me off. Has that idiot forgotten where we are? That the Groom Lake is now a freaking hunting ground and my sister is in the middle of it? I don't fucking care if they don't come with me. I have to see my sister. I have to know about Danica. I heard her on the radio a day or so ago, so I know she's still alive. She has to be hiding. Danica was always better than me at hide and seeing back home. It took hours to find her. Once, mom sent a search party for her and she'd been hiding at the bottom of the garden, tucked inside a dirt hole where dad was planting beets. Is your dad white shrewd from the office? Uh, she's hiding. She has to be. Sadie is causing me problems. If she won't come with me, I guess I'll have to make her come along, whether she wants me or not. And there are some emails from L. Musgrave, Food Enhancement Report. Dear Erica, I was under the misapprehension that your request was perhaps just paranoia, but given the tests I've performed on the provided samples, well, I have to be honest, its implications are frightening. I will generally concur with your initial theory that some batches just went bad, but there's clearly much more than spoilage at work. You have to understand that when batches like this are spoiled, there are all spoiled, not just a few. A fungus, for instance, will spread through samples but there is an astonishing difference between the samples you've sent me. Some seem to have been cultivated quite for the qualities they demonstrate. Did you know the brassica sample is enhanced with a genetically enhanced form of PCP? I know this because I tested the sample on one of my rats. The poor little thing lashed out violently, suffered a seizure and then died. The precise name is DV85, a drug that was popular for enhancing the abilities of so-called remote viewers during the eugenic wars. Laboratory created stuff, all designer, all professional. Wow, this is long. The most alarming part is that owing to the different genetic strains seen in the five samples you sent for analysis, I get the impression that these contaminants were deliberately distributed to both staff and patients. I'm not sure what lunatic would do such a thing, least of all in a long haul lab ship. But I've already sent a request to my superiors at the ministry to examine the matter further. On an informal note, please look after yourself, Erica. You were always my best pupil, and I'm pleased you chose to confide in me. I do apologize that it has taken so long to get back to you. Be careful. With fondest affection, Luke. Professor L. H. Musgrave, University of Tampa, Florida. So, these PDA stuff is getting more elaborate. Um, I guess the developers wanted to tell a lot about the uh, fungus and stuff. I still don't know how exactly did it come to happen because it's so convoluted. Uh, let's check the other one. I hope it's a little bit shorter. Uh, I, I think I found the crew. Are they also bloodied up like the guy under the floor? You could say that. I'm not sure how many people I'm looking at. It's like something from a eugenics war painting. Try to push through, John. A few decks below. One step at a time. Things are getting crazier. Okay, there we have Sadie A. Callister, the one uh, the other one talked about. September 18, I thought that becoming the new head medical tech on this deck would actually improve things, but it's like being thrown into the lion's den. The lockdown a few months back was a pain, but these inventory discrepancies are the real problem. And then yesterday the system went haywire. The first thing Erica does, of course, is call her little sister to make sure she's okay. I suppose I can understand that. I just wish that, well, I wish she'd ask after me sometimes too. Yesterday, during the power outage, I was locked inside a storage room for two hours. But Danica's fine, of course. So who cares about me? I was only trapped in a product storage room with only plant cultures and human limbs for company. I took a look at them actually, it's part of my job, with the plants anyway, and I had to do something to keep my mind of things. Good specimens, all of them, except for samples 99D, E and F. I couldn't for the life of me work out why samples this badly mutated 
would be permitted anywhere near the greenhouses. These are recent too. Dear God, what imbecile is shipping sent these to storage? Kane's hydroponics have the strictest quarantine regulations in the galaxy, punishable by losing your damn job. It must be that new section a few floors down. They've got all kinds of foods, fools on the payroll. You know, I, I usually like to spend time in the greenhouses, but I swear something's going funny with some of the new crops. Erica said I'm probably just imagining it, but I had a whole batch of brassica growth cultures thrown out the other door, showing signs of what looked like Dutch elm disease. How is that possible? I'm going to submit a report. How am I supposed to explain to Dr. Milan and the board that we have mutant cultures in storage and perfectly good crops with extinct diseases is another matter. Ugh. Okay, December 20. Erica's lost her damn mind. I'm scared out of my mind right now. She's dragged us on a fool's errand across the ship to look for Danica. I tried to tell her how I saw one of those things wearing Danica's face the other morning. Oh god, it makes me want to puke just thinking about it. It looked like a deflated balloon as it scuttled up the walls. Ooh, I swear Angracia fried it with a bolt, but we can't be sure. He's a psychiatrist, not a soldier. Then again, are any of us soldiers? Erga seems to think we're in Marine Corps, waving around that rifle with a crazy look in her eye, threatening to kill anyone who disagrees with her. Erica, I told her, you are a nurse. God, I barely recognize her anymore. What happened to my best friend? What happened to that girl from Stokely, Mississippi? I don't know who Erica Boxer is anymore. And December 24, Erica died this morning. Great. My friend is gone. One of those horrific things tore her spine out of her body right in front of my eyes. I must be one of the last ones left alive. Now that I've got lung, I'm infected with something. I can feel it. I checked out the hydroponics lab this morning. It's a wreck. I could have told them, anyone could have told them, that trying to breed a new fungus to kill the old one would be disastrous. The rest of it won't budge. I tried tearing it away with the laser scalpel Erica gave me, but it did nothing. Zip, zilch, nada. What, does, what doesn't kill it really does make it stronger. I'm going back to retrieve Erica's remains later. I know she died a crazy woman, but she was my friend. I still love her. Okay, so notices and reports. Um, yeah, we already read that one from Rajakupar. And what about the emails from Dr. Milan, Inventory Anomalies, Dr. Milan, first allow me oh, to Milan, first allow me to apologize for mailing you directly, but this is a declassified red emergency. I've undertaken further inspections beyond samples 99D, E and F and found that the majority of our inventory has been compromised by tampering. There are signs that the tampering began some time ago. Some of the materials are merely spoiled, but a large quantity appears to have been illegally modified. I'm not sure who the new suppliers are, but the inventory they have provided does not match the chemical manifest included. I'm aware this is a shipping concern rather than a hydroponics one, but Project Seed is based around our successful cultivation of hypernutritious plants in unusual conditions. With the current stock we possess, there is no limit to the number of, of illegal or mutated nutrients going into our plant growth. I'd advise that shipping and medical begin more thorough inspections of the received cargo I suspect the problems could go back for months, although I have no evidence to prove this. Please recommend immediate termination of supply runs and decontamination of irrigation pipes until this is resolved. Best regards, Sadie Kelser, Hydroponics Technician Level 1. Okay, so it's getting more elaborate. Um, of course, Milan is behind all of this. He wanted it to. To this insane butcher stuff. Everyone got butchered. Um, Boxer to Sadie. Sadie, I love you very much, sweetie, but have you lost your damn mind? Those samples are restricted. What if Dr. Milan finds out you've brought samples from out of the storage base? It's not only your job you'll be losing. I'll do what you ask, but only because you've never been wrong before. Though I pray to God you are this time. Love, Erica. And then she died. Alright. <laughs> 